What's going on guys, it's your boy Sunny J back with another video and today I'm going to be building a brand new PC. So the main reason why I'm building a brand new PC is strictly for music and a little bit of gaming. My old computer, it's about six years old so I figured it's time to upgrade and with all the new softwares that are coming out, all the new instruments, it's just not cutting it anymore. So I figured why not just upgrade. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to talk about the parts a little bit and the reasons why I got it. So. Yeah. So I decided to go with Intel, uh, mainly because AMD is still not as optimized. And I'm trying to really get the best performance when it comes to music. So Intel is still the best. And a lot of pro users still use Intel for strictly music though, strictly music. So I got a good deal on this. So I decided to go Intel. I don't know, all my AMD boys, <laughs> let me know in the comments if it's working out for you or not. When it comes to music, you know, strictly music. But yeah, I went with Intel, good processor, it was on sale, easy choice. So for memory, I went with the Vengeance RGB Pro, 32 gigabytes. If you're honestly gonna be running big libraries, like I said, the more RAM, the better. 32 is pretty good size, even for gaming, 32 is probably what you want. It used to be 16 gigabytes, but now if you ask me, 32 is definitely the standard now when it comes to higher end stuff so yeah 32 32 gigabytes so for storage i got a 500 gigabyte nvme m.2 so this goes strictly on the motherboard and it's faster than sata so i'm just gonna use this as a the boot drive not too crazy for my other storage i'm using a one terabyte samsung ssd SSD prices are so cheap now that it really doesn't make sense to get a hard drive, in my opinion. But I'm strictly getting SSDs for just for the speed. So a lot of my music guys, like if you have big libraries and all that stuff, make sure you guys just get an SSD because you don't want things like taking forever when they load, especially like big libraries and Omnisphere and things like that. So I'm gonna be using this as storage and I also have other SSDs in my older computer that I'm going to transfer to this one. So I'm just going to have a whole bunch of SSDs basically. So moving on to the motherboard, I got this Aurorus Elite. Uh, it's a great motherboard, has a lot of USBs, has some RGB accents. Um, it was a good price. It's not much to say about it other than, you know, it looks pretty good and it was a good price. And also, if you guys are still using USB interfaces, Make sure you guys get a motherboard that has 2.0, USB 2.0, because some of the interfaces don't work well with the USB 3.0. So keep that in mind if you if you guys are gonna build a PC for, for music. So for cooling, I got this Corsair H100i. So yeah, it's a great cooler, looks great. Um, and it was on sale, so yeah. So for the power supply, I got a Supernova. 850 watts um, I have this in my older build right now so I'm just gonna swap it out because I have other power supplies so this Corsair 400x RGB comes with three fans it's not too expensive and it looks great basically I'm kind of going for a Corsair build and I also got some custom sleeves power supply sleeves yeah all right let's start building three days later so it's already been a couple of days since i first started the build i was going to show the whole process of it but i'm only one person so i wasn't going to hold the camera and try to build it it's just too much so i decided just to make like a follow-up video so yeah let me just show you how it turned out all right so this is the build all finished i added another fan the rear fan, exhaust, RGB fan. Um, yeah, I think it came out pretty nice. Still using my old graphics card. There's no graphic graphics card right now on my PC. PC build, there's no, no the issues with that. No stock at the moment. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy how it came out. Um, looks pretty nice. Got some good deals. And yeah, I think it looks great. So really quickly, I just wanted to show you guys how fast this thing really is. 
So I know a lot of you guys, a lot of my producer guys know that um, that Omnisphere is pretty, pretty intensive when it comes to CPU and, you know, latency and basically, you know, loading up. So I'm just gonna run an Omnisphere and see how long that takes. Bam, pretty fast. Um, and just scrolling through presets. Turn it up. So you can see it's, it loads really, really fast. Just playing on my keyboard. Super fast. Contact also loads really, really fast. So before, like it would take forever just to like even run like Alicia Keys and this thing just like nothing, lightning. So performance wise, that's really what I wanted it for, just, you know, to shred through anything I throw at it, and that's basically what it's doing. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys are using to make music or content creation, and if you guys have any questions about PCs, building, anything like that, you guys want me to run a plugin on it to, you know, benchmark it or whatever, you know, just, hit me a dm hit me on the comment section don't matter and yeah i'm pretty happy overall uh it wasn't too expensive it was a, around the same price i paid for my old one and this thing just you know destroys that old one i had like a i7 4900k 4700k something like that um good cpu but you know the i9 just double the cores and it's just super super fast so yeah, let me let me know what you guys are using. If you guys want me to do another video about something, let me know too. So yeah, all right guys, catch you in the next one. Peace out.